Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you attempt any disassembly, make sure the engine has cooled. Remove the wire and boot from the spark plug or plugs. Then disconnect the cables from the battery. Black first, then red. If your repair involves the valves or cylinder heads, you should first remove the nuts securing the exhaust system and pull the exhaust system and gaskets off. The system may vary depending on your application. To continue the disassembly, loosen the cover knob to release the air filter cover and pull the cover off. Now remove the wing nuts securing the inner air filter cover and pull the inner cover off along with the air filter and pre-cleaner. Next, remove the bolts to release the fuel pump. Disconnect the regulator rectifier wire harness. Remove the bolt to release the dipstick tube from the bracket and pull it out of the engine sump. Be prepared for a small amount of oil to spill out. Remove the screws to release the brackets holding the oil breather in place and pull the breather out of the valve cover. Now remove the screws securing the throttle control bracket and move the bracket out of the way. Use an Allen head wrench to remove the bolts securing the grass shield and pull the shield off along with the support ring. Now remove the mounting screws securing the blower housing. Pull the housing off. Be aware this may require some effort. If your repair involves removing the flywheel, you should now pull off the flywheel fan and spacers. Next, you will need to stabilize the flywheel. You can use a strap wrench to do this. Have an assistant hold the flywheel in place, then position a socket on the retaining bolt and strike it with a hammer to loosen. This will probably require some effort. Remove the bolt and washer. Now use a puller to detach the flywheel from the shaft. Remove the puller and the strap wrench. You will now need to remove both of the ignition coils. Remove the bolts securing the coils and move the coils out of the way. Use a large flathead screwdriver to help lift the flywheel off. Reposition the flywheel by aligning the slot in the flywheel with the flywheel key and sliding it onto the crankshaft. Now reposition both ignition coils and insert the mounting bolts. Pull the coils back and tighten the bolts. Now, rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the coil. Insert a business card and loosen the bolts to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the bolts and remove the business card. Repeat the process for the second coil. Reinsert the retaining bolt and washer. Then torque the bolt to manufacturer's specifications.
Replace the flywheel fan and spacers. If you need to remove a valve cover, first uninstall the retaining bolts securing the baffles attached to the appropriate cylinder head. Be aware you may need to move the carburetor out of the way to access certain bolts depending on your model. Now pull both baffles off. Remove the bolts from the intake manifold attached to the cylinder head and loosen the bolts securing the opposite end of the manifold. Uninstall the bolts securing the valve cover and pull the cover off. Be prepared for some oil to spill. Reinstall the valve cover by positioning it on the valve and securing the bolts. Replace the intake manifold gasket if applicable to your repair. And replace the bolts to secure. Reconnect the grounding wire if applicable. Tighten the bolts on the opposite end of the manifold. Realign the baffles along with the throttle control shaft bracket if applicable. and secure them with the retaining bolts. Continue to reassemble the engine by repositioning the blower housing. Secure it with the mounting screws. Align the support ring, then reposition the grass shield and secure the bolts. Realign the throttle control bracket and secure it with the screws. Align the oil breather's rear retaining bracket and reinsert the breather into the valve cover. Then position and secure the front retaining bracket with the screws. Reinsert the dipstick tube into the engine sump. Align it with the bracket and secure the bolt. Reconnect the regulator rectifier wire harness. Reposition the fuel pump and secure the bolts. Replace the air filter and pre-cleaner onto the elbow assembly along with the inner cover and secure with the wing nut. Replace the cover and tighten the cover knob. If applicable, make sure new or existing gaskets are aligned on the exhaust manifold bolts. Then align the exhaust system and secure it with the nuts. With the engine fully reassembled, you can now reconnect the battery cables, red first, then black. Finally, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug or plugs.